Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create labels and how to use them. First thing that we need to do is create a label. You can create labels here on the left. If you go under more, go ahead and make sure to, to, to scroll all the way down until you see create new label. Go ahead and click on that and then you can just enter in a label of your choice. So I'm just going to call mine test and go ahead and create the label. So here is my uh, label. If I hover my mouse over my label, I'll see these three dots appearing. As these three dots are appearing, just go ahead and click on them. Whenever you see three dots in all the G Suite applications, it always means more options. Don't hesitate to ever click on them. As you click on them, you'll see the possibility to um, give the label a color, for example. If you want to do that, just go ahead on label color and select the color of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and give this label the color green. If I hover over it again and click on those three buttons, You'll see, um, if you go towards the end of this pop-up, um, the possibility to edit your label, to remove it, or to even add a sub-label. Let's go ahead and do that. If I click under sub-label and click on create, you'll see my sub-label will appear over here, and I can, of course, continue and give it another color as well. Okay, you can um, decrease the label and increase it just by clicking on this little arrow that you have just next to the label. Okay, so there are a couple of um, things that you need to know first before giving a color to all of your labels, I would suggest that you only give colors to those labels that are really interesting. So maybe a label that you use often that you want to quickly find through your list of labels. In any case, if you give a color to every single label that you have, that just won't make any sense. It will make your um, inbox also quite messy. All right. So that's the first thing. So how to create labels, and we've just um, gone through that. Now, how do you use labels? You can use labels to display a label directly on your inbox. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There are several ways to doing that. The first way to do it is to simply drag and drop the label on your email, just as I've done over here. Or I can just select the email by clicking on this box. And then if I go on the label icon and simply select test and apply, you'll see that the label has also been um, attributed to my email. If I am in an email and I want to give it a label, I can just go ahead and click here on the label and then hit that test label and click on apply, you'll see here that my test label has been just given to my email. What you also need to know, as you can see here, is that all emails that are in the inbox will have an inbox label. That is just something that you need to remember. Um, further on into this video, I'll explain to you um, what that actually means. Okay, so these are all the options to label an email um, in your inbox. You can also put away an email. By putting an, away an email, I mean removing your email from your inbox and storing it into your labels or folders, um, as you could have called it in other um, mailing systems. So to put away an email um, into your labels, there are several options as well. The first option is to just take that email and move the conversation in that test label that we have over here. Another option is to select the email and go ahead and click on this icon over here, move to. If you select move to, your email will actually be moved away from inbox into that label that you're going to select here. And as you can see, the email is not in my inbox anymore. 
The other option is to go ahead, click in the email, and go ahead and remove the label of the inbox. By removing the label called inbox, the email will no longer be in inbox, but it will be stored in my label called test. If I'm just going to go ahead, you'll see that there are no more emails in here in inbox, but that they are all saved here, um, stored here, sorry, in test. So that's something that you need to remember. That is how you uh, remove emails from your, um, your inbox. What you also need to understand, and it kind of goes hand in hand with labels, is archiving. So archiving in Gmail will actually mean removing that inbox label. If I go ahead here and I click on this email, you'll see that the email contains the inbox label. And if I go ahead, select the email and click on the archive button, you'll see that the email is no longer in my inbox and all of those archived emails will be found under all mail. If I go ahead and click here, you'll see um, that in all mail, you'll find all emails that are in your inbox, all emails that do not have a label, and all the emails that actually also have a label but are not um, in your inbox because we just stored them. So basically, you'll find all of your emails in all mail except those that you have deleted and sent to your bin. So I hope that was useful for you. Um, labels are just slightly different from what you could have experienced in other mailing systems. If you have any questions, please do let us know and we'll get back to you. Have a nice day. Bye.